Today I'm making a quick little video of this box that I found at Target. This is normally $10.99. I got it on sale for about a little over eight bucks. And the receipt went flying. I'll show you. This was $8.24. And the brand is Easy Storage, as you can see, top of the lid here. It is just a regular household plastic storage bin, so I don't expect it to be super strong. So it won't really take any heavy abuse. But what it does do is that it fits this new battery pack in there perfectly. And an added bonus is that this has an IP, I believe IP65 rating some kind of IP rating, which means that it is water resistant or waterproof. There's a little rubber gasket all the way around. And then when you put it on, when you latch the sides, it compresses the gasket down, so it keeps water out. So that's really cool. Another thing I like is that it's clear, so you can see through. Obviously, you don't have to see through all the sides but you can see through at least the top to see if there's any LED lights blinking like when you connect your Bluetooth, the LED light blinks. So I'm gonna show you how this fits. I measured the dimension of these uh, four LF280K batteries from EVE cells. They, uh, it's about nine by 12 or eight and a half by, or eight by 11 and a half. And the base of this box is nine by 12. So that fits in there pretty comfortably with a little bit of space around. And to kind of snug it up, you can just slide some foam on the side. Or in my case, I've got some cardboard that I'm gonna put in there. So let me go ahead and drop it in there and I'll show you what it looks like. There you go. That's the battery in there. You can see there's a, oh, about maybe an inch of space. And because I mounted the uh, BMS here to the side and the cable is coming up, you need a little bit more space on this side. And then just to take up that little space, I'm gonna slide in some cardboard. A little bit of cardboard to take up some space, give it some cushion. Of course, I wouldn't recommend this for uh, automotive or high vibration use, but if you're gonna use this in your cabin and you just want it to be protected from spills and you know tools being dropped on it, this is a perfect application for that. And then you can just uh, you know maybe drill a hole on the side and seal it with like silicone for the conductors to come out. We push this down. This one comes up a little tall. We push these down. We should be able to seal it up pretty good. Take a look. Check it out. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's a Starlink battery. Starlink battery. Well, okay. I used my Starlink box cardboard that may or may not have been on purpose but it's pretty cool i like the size i like how it's a little bit waterproof so if you guys need a simple little box for your diy battery like i built in the other video this is a good one for about 10 bucks watch a little video today by andy from the off-grid garage channel and he pointed me to this app that somebody made, LifePo4 QR Battery QR Scanner, which I thought was really cool. It is designed to decipher the QR code on these batteries. I downloaded it and I scanned these four cells that I have in this battery pack. These cells have a cell type and manufacturing date of July 13th, 2021. That has the model, the capacity, also have the line order and also the number of the day so these cells are indeed new cells and uh, they are 
relatively close in the uh, order of the day that it was made. There, two of them are right next to each other, 1488 and 1489. And then the other two are 1640 and 1956, but definitely made on the same day. So that's really cool. Uh, if you want to download this app, I'll also put a link below so you can check it out. You can scan the cells that comes, comes in from your order that has QR codes and see uh, exactly what you've got. So if I can find the link to this box to uh, where it is in Target, I will put the link in the description below. And you can just uh, go on Target's website and see if you've got one in stock in your local Target. Now to get the Starlink cardboard box, however, you're going to have to spend 700 bucks to get a Starlink in order to get the cardboard. So that could get a little expensive. Hope you enjoyed this little video. See you in the next one.